I don't know how well it's showing on camera, but this pulley that's dead center of this shot, you can hear the bearings start to go out. We're gonna go ahead and replace that. Superior recommends 90,000 mile belt inspection. This is actually right at 100,000 miles. I'm just gonna go ahead and replace the belt since I've gotta take it off anyway. As always, first thing you wanna do, pop the hood down here, pull that. Come over, here's the emblem to give you a reference, reach in. There's a lever right there, you hit to the left. Raise her up. If you still have this cover, by the way, this just spontaneously disappeared on me one day. I do miss having that emblem there. I think it makes the whole thing look like Optimus Prime. But, pop that. Pop that. Ooh, look how clean. Checking the belt out. Uh, it was due for inspection at 90,000 miles. There's some minor cracking in there. I'm just going to go ahead and replace it since I've got to take it off anyway. First thing we're going to take this out this bolt right here looks like it's a 12 millimeter actually I don't think you got to take it out I think you just need to release the tension by the way I did break that loose already off camera I cheated no, I think this is going to be a 14, which it is. And is that seriously it? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Now if all you're doing is changing the belt, this is probably the easiest belt you could ever change. Since we're going a little further. Because if you were to change the belt, Make yourself some room there. You'd have the belt up. Now though, I think it's just connected by two little bolts. Which means I'm gonna have to grab a socket wrench. Can I get down there without blocking the shot? <laughs> I can get down there and knock the camera over. But yeah, go ahead and take these two bolts out. There's two of them. They're right next to each other. Wow. Do you have a camera now? Can you see? Actually, those are so loose. I could probably just get those by hand. If you're doing the pulley, go ahead and take this nut that we broke loose earlier out. I love how simple this is. Let's see. Push that out. Be sure to knock all your parts all over the place. Props to Kentucky Ranger on the Outback Forum for figuring out this is the Deco replacement pulley. Instead of having to buy the high dollar Subaru one, this one's like $10. To assemble, pull it through. This little spacer. Back on to there. 
and just in case you need to see it again. <laughs> Go by the dirt marks on mine. That little ridge sticks out. Make sure the ridge of that bolt actually gets in this channel. You'll feel, you can see it, uh, this little ridge here is actually in that channel. I'm gonna put the nut back on. By the way, if you're wondering, and you couldn't hear that noise at the beginning, here's what a fresh pulley sounds like. Basically nothing. And here's what the old pulley sounds like. Not urgent. Let's see if I can wait till the cars are not going by. Might be a minute. Hopefully that's picking up on camera. Assembly is the opposite of removal. Here is the AC Delco part number, if that helps for the belt. I always like to compare them, make sure they're the same size, which this one is, and then let's get it on. Reach down, get it around the harmonic balancer. Don't tighten this nut, actually, so that there is some play there. a little bit less. Judging by the threads here, it's a little bit less than it was. Make sure everything's on track. I'm just going to go ahead and tighten this. Look at this one. Mm, that's got to be more. That's too much play. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now I'm going to tighten it. And I believe that's it. Let's go ahead and start it and see what it does. Hopefully I get a great shot of it throwing the belt for you guys. All right, go ahead and put your cover on and you're all set. Thanks for watching.